what is going on so yesterday working on this duramax i went ahead and put them drilled and slotted rotors on and today where's she at i got some more parts over here let me open her up i got this new fancy fleece intake horn for this lb7 duramax our people are raving over these things so i thought i'd give it a try So here's the intake mouth on the fleece, and there's the intake mouth on stock, and there's the exit side two turbo on stock. You can see that line right there. That's all inside the turbo housing. So when you flip this over, look at that. Look at the difference. So I got that intake horn in. Intake heater heated. Wow. I got the intake heater wire back on. I can plug this back in real quick. I gotta hook this other hose up right here. That's gotta get hooked up. Boot back on. I got a few things to do. I gotta put the clamp on first. But uh then I'll fire this thing up, check for leaks. So I got that horn on, everything in here nice and snug. Let's go ahead and fire it up real quick. See what we're working with. See if this thing is gonna make a world of difference or not. I'm not really sure that it will. Granted, there ain't a tuner or nothing on here, but it seems to be a little smoother on the A cell. Not bad. Let me, let me slow her down a little bit. Oh, no shake. Brakes are good. Definitely seems like it flows a little bit better though. Granted, who knows? I could just be saying that, but I have been driving this thing around now. I've put quite a bit of miles on it. It definitely just it does it. Before you would get on it, boy, I, I it'd feel like it was choked up. But now it's kind of kind of feels like it's a little more lively. But but if I do decide to get a tuner. I bet that'll wake this thing up now. Just depends if I want to do that or not. So I'm out here working on this 4L60. Well, I'm actually pulling the 4L60 off this motor I was given. Uh, got a guy coming to grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these two and put some money in my pocket for further purchases. So I started taking some of the bell housing bolts out. Just took that nut off. 
Try to pull that strap off so I can pull this. Oil level check right here. Can't get to the bolt back there, it's all stuck, hung up tight. Pull that off and then I got two more bolts, three more bolts to pull off and I'll be ready to separate these two. I'm gonna wash this thing up. Probably do a rear main on it. New valve cover gaskets, you can see it's it's nasty. Some preventative stuff. And then, like I said, I might, might drop it in the Model T. I might sell it. I might save it for something else. I really don't know. Uh, I got two of these blocks fully dressed like this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. One's a 4.8, this one's a 5.3. I want a 6.0, make me a 4.08, get it stroked. But it's hard to find a 6.0 block. I found one, but the guy, it was, that thing was all rusted out. Cylinders were rusted up, and old boy said, I won't sell it for less than 250. Guy's high. But I got a full harness on this thing that I don't need. I got a, two standalones for them. And then. I just don't know what I'm gonna do, whether I want to run this or that 4.8 or... I got motor mounts with this one, that's cool. I just noticed that. I didn't get the starter. Old boy said he'd give it to me. I just gotta go out there and get it. And the uh, mass airflow sensor as well. But I got this torque converter off. It's been puking fluid all over in the back of this truck. Obviously, we're gonna get a motor stand here and get this thing hung. I do need to get a flywheel. I would, if I had a starter, I would already started this thing up for you right here in the back of the truck. Open header there and open header there. And yeah, it would have been a little loud. I don't think the people would have liked it a much, but that's all right. So today I got myself some new brake rotors for the truck. I got a few other parts for the truck as well, for the old Duramax. Let it warm up a little bit before I put over here on the driveway and then I'm gonna get into it. Y'all see it on the time lapse and I'll be back with you in a minute. So if I got new brake pads, but these brake pads are brand new. The guy did say when he bought it, or I bought this from him, he just had brake pads put on it, but he said they didn't put new rotors on it. And I don't know if you've ever driven one of these trucks here, but all these like early model Chevys are real bad about getting warped rotors. So they're pretty bad about warping the rotors on these trucks. So I picked up some new rotors from Detroit Axle and we'll get her put together. So I had a quick phone call I had to attend to, but got this brake on rotor brake she's on there these are the same ones i used to have an 05 2500 same brand i had on it same process to do it but it's quick and it's easy a little dirty but we'll finish this up put this tire back on i hope you all had a good christmas and oh. I know I did. My brakes showed up yesterday. Christmas Eve. They said they weren't going to be here until the end of the month. But now I got them, so I'll put them on. If I can get rid of that little bit of a shake it's got whenever you hit the brakes. And that's the same issue I had on my 05. And that's why I went with the same exact brakes I went with on my 05. And it solved all my issues. Come on, get by me, get by me. A little too big. All right, that's out. Slip it off, throw it up top. Come on. She's on there. There we go. Same thing on this side. Brake pads look brand new. 
Pull that rotor off. Parking brake pads don't look bad either. I already wiped these down because I already had this open last night, but I wiped these brakes off, cleaned all the oil off of them. So I knew I was putting them on today. So I got this side done. I got the other side done. About to roll up and get the front. Onto the fronts. Try to get those done. Looking at the backs done. Looking good. I was gonna bleed the brakes, change all the fluid out. That's what I mean by bleed the brakes. I was just gonna put all fresh fluid in it. But I actually didn't have any brake fluid. Well, I have some, but it ain't gonna be enough to do what I need to do. So not doing that now, I'll have to do that later. But we'll get these drilled slotted rotors on here and then we'll make sure she stops and see if it takes away the shake on her. So here we have it, got that rotor on. Try to do the other side and then she'll be all wrapped up. Poor Ryobi is tearing it up. So we'll get in there. Try to get the old Long Boy Matco out for a couple of them because you can't get the Ryobi back there. Probably could if I turned the wheel, but I got it on that jack and then on a jack stand and I don't want to mess around with it. So I just got the ratchet in there, popped it right off.